The allegations brought against Ken Paxton in his impeachment trial stretched back to 2019, but they reached a fever pitch one week back in 2020. And few people had as much of a role in that as Jeff Mateer, the former first assistant attorney general and the first witness in Paxton's impeachment trial. Mateer resigned on October 2nd, 2020, four days after learning that Paxton had allegedly brought in an attorney against the guidance of his office to investigate allegations brought forward by Nate Paul. I knew a lot more about Nate Paul. I mean, he was not a good guy. Before he resigned, he and other senior staff brought their concerns to the FBI, which Paxton's attorneys say was a mistake. You could have put all this to bed if you just talked to your boss. Tony Busby seemed to go even as far as to insinuate possible collusion between the whistleblower's allegations against Paxton and Paxton's rival candidate for attorney general, George P. Bush. And notably, Mateer said he was making assumptions about Paxton's role when he went to the Fed, including at the time possible blackmail given Paxton's extra marital affair, which Paxton had confessed to. 